We've got a $100 donation from Pupil EX. I hope everybody's having a great time. Cheers. I have a $50 donation from It's All Good 013. I've been watching GDQ streams for far too long to have never donated. Everybody I've watched has blown my mind with their skill. Best of all, GDQ always picks the best cause to donate to. Keep on fighting the good fight. P.S. Save the animals in honor of my friend Milsner. I've got $7.50 from Anonymous. $7.50! But seriously, you could not pay me to play these games, so this is true dedication from the runners, putting themselves through endless torture for our amusement, reader's choice. Thank you, sir. Or ma'am. $5 from Alexander Grand Bacon. First time watching, wish I got to, into this sooner. Thanks for the entertainment and good wishes to everyone you help. Just a reminder that you can check out a lot of the VODs for past GDQ events on the YouTube page for Games Done Quick. That's one way that I checked out uh, past GDQs that I missed out on. Got a $10 donation from Grand Dream. Sorry, it took me a while to get to this one. My dad is the one who got me into gaming and would have loved watching this event and all the great work being done by gamers. Unfortunately, he passed away eight years ago from cancer. So here is to helping research that will ensure more gamers can watch GDQ in the future. Not those animals, though. Save the frames. Loved seeing Chrono Trigger run over the summer at SGDQ. It was both of our favorite game. Thank you for that.
Why? All right. Cool. Well, this is Utsurun Death. It is a game based on a gag manga from who knows how long ago. The main thing is that its comedy doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Like, it'll just throw a bunch of random stuff at you and tell you it's funny. And some of it's kind of okay, but it may get a little nonsensical. Like, the game actually had a few title screens ahead of this one, but uh, because of an uh, audio check thing, I had to go to this one. The first one said, this sucks. <laughs> The second one said, I want to go to Hawaii, because this place sucks, which is the, the plot of this game. You got the main character, the like middle-aged man in an otter suit, and he's tired of where he's at, and he wants to go on vacation, so we're going to help him get there. Aren't we all? So, as soon as we're ready to go, I can start? Okay. Okay, three, two, one, go. Yeah. All right, so that's his house over there. And because this is a video game, we gotta go through Mario Land first of all. He has a few attacks. Uh, they're kind of indicated by the top, but you're not gonna be able to tell very well. <laughs> His main thing is like a little slap. And it's the fastest thing that he can do, so I'm gonna be doing it a heck of a lot. You, you would think that you would fall in the spike trap, but you don't. And you would think you gotta go through here, but when you realize that doesn't work, you go back. And then you fall down. To the left is a shot, but we don't need nothing. Our cash is at the top right, if you were curious, to see how much we accumulate. How did you come across this game exactly? Alright, so... Uh, myself <laughs> and a group of friends were like, Hey, what if there are some good games of speedrun out there that nobody's done yet? And this probably wasn't one of them, but we did it anyway. So <laughs> I mean, it, holding it, right for 15 minutes is very <laughs> skillful, so... Yeah. It's a pretty good speedrun. Alright, those text boxes were this dude right here, the Kappa, saying that like he doesn't want us to go to Hawaii because then people will bully him, so we're going to proceed to show us that we're going to bully him if we're here, so he needs to get over it. Oh. And he's going to leave crying, oh. <laughs> so we're on our way. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. It had to be done. This is like a Lost Woods kind of deal. you got to do a little puzzle to get through. If you go far enough in it, there will be a guy telling you what to do. Well, you, you got to dance. The thing I mentioned before with like, the very top, um, if you hold down the attack button for long enough, you'll get different abilities, and the first one is a little dance m dance number. The watermelons are very deadly. So they are deadly. Oh, man. That screen goes on forever, by the way. You're just supposed to keep jumping on the logs until you mess up and fall down and realize, oh, well, here we go. Yeah, and going over the stages is a bit slower, so you just swim underneath a couple of them. you just fall them. right in at the start. I don't know if this is meant to be intimidating, but he just passes right by you. <laughs> this is a little bit of a detour, but I figured I'd show this off. You can do this a lot in this game. You just kind of <laughs> go out of bounds and come back in. It's a mini zip. <laughs> yeah, mini zip. There you go. The jump roper guys are just blockades. Like, they're just there. They're a big pain. This dude's infesting this area, dude. We got to get him out. So oh, this no. one... Oh, seizure warning, by the way. <laughs> I was a little late on that, but if you hold down for long enough, you get this little thing here. Actually, hold on. Yeah, screwed up a little bit. If you hold it down for a little bit too long, then you'll get this thing where he... Well, the icon is like a plant, like he's watering it, but I'm pretty sure it's something else. Yeah, I guess it should also be noted that Ion died because there's actually gameplay in this. Yeah. There's a little more than just holding right, but the boss, not much. Most of the bosses aren't that bad. Just where this guy can put the little pebbles can be a little random, and he happened to drop them right on me. He's not that bad, though. But now he's out. And the death wasn't that costly. Like, we were right over there. So, a question. If we mm -hmm. understood Japanese, would this make any more sense? Not really. Or? Like, that's... Partially because this is just based off of a manga that was just a bunch of random jokes in the first place, and they kind of translated them into video game form. Like, this dude here keeps showing up over and over. He's one character. His thing is he's like the obnoxious student that asks really dumb questions. Like, uh, let's see, the most memorable one to me was one where he walks up to his teacher, and he asks how you pronounce, like, a symbol when it's just a symbol you can't pronounce it, and he kept insisting that there was a way to say it. And now we just have to ride up an elevator for ten whole floors. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Not just ten, it's eleven. <laughs> oh, sorry. I've... 
And they never tell you which yeah. one is the right one. Well, they do. Like, if you talk to the receptionist, she tells you to go to the fifth floor. You go there, you find a guy. He tells you to go to another one, but I can't remember. But it's like a big chain that you go to until you eventually get to the 11th. It's, it's great, good. dude. What yep. a good game. Yeah, so this is elevator fetch quest, Skip. Elevator action. This is actual speed tech. I, didn't, mm -hmm. I honestly didn't expect that from this game. <laughs> Yeah, well, game's finally there, just though, like so a JRPG. We, we don't have to worry about that no more. And the 11th floor has this for us. We get the big and little brother UFO people. Nyan's doing a really hard strat right now. He's I know, crouching I'm, so I'm he can hit the boss and attacking, when he's dude. on the ground. It's crazy. So, like, with each of the bosses, they don't necessarily have, like, like that good a dialogue, but they kind of tell you, like, if you just want to go on vacation, why is all this happening, right? Like, why am I dealing with these guys banging their tambourines and these crazy frogs? Well, there's a mastermind behind it all, and we're going to find out who he is a bit later. How could someone ever have it out for someone who dresses this cute? I don't understand. I know, right? Middle-aged men in otter suits. It's perfect. <laughs> That's my dream, man, honestly. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. This is probably my favorite boss in the game right here. This is a Superman parody, and he has a little little friend. Uh, Ooh. <laughs> so, uh, his, his main thing, I mean, you can see it already, but... <laughs> like in the manga he's flying over a scene where this girl's getting robbed and he's embarrassed to help her because of that <laughs> he, he just flies on and leaves her to get like like mug dude it's awful this dude that i'm beating up his clones of he's he's gone now but uh he just shows up and stares at people and makes them feel awkward and that's reflected in this game by like if you just walk through him he'll follow you and your health will continually drain it's really bad so you want to get rid of him has it ever explained why you're taking this particular route to get to Hawaii? Because I don't recall having to go to Egypt when I went there uh, once. Actually, according to the sign at the start, this is Portugal. Thank you. Uh, oh, my, my mistake. Yeah, <laughs> my Dude, mistake. Get it right, man. <laughs> yeah, what the hell? This stage is kind of iffy, like it just throws enemies everywhere and there's a lot of parts where it's either you go really slow or you take a bunch of damage and I'm going to opt for the damage route, hopefully that works out okay. Although it's kind of hard to tell when he takes damage because uh, your health bar is actually really delayed for when it shows <laughs> it health is, coming dude. off. Like I have to finish flashing before anything happens, finish flickering, whatever you want to call it. In this state, like this room here, if you move at all, you get hit by that guy. It's really deceptive. You gotta stand still. All right, so the boss right here is like the king, queen, and the <laughs> the queen and the princess. Uh, they're kind of complicated characters in the manga, to be honest. Like n nobody really recognizes them as royal figures. They just think that they're really rude. Like there's one where the king right there is just getting beat up, and after they beat him to a bloody pulp, they realize, wait. That was the royalty, maybe we shouldn't have done that. The queen doesn't really do a whole lot, but the princess has some pretty good lines. I'll get to those right now. So the thing she says right here in the game is she actually thanks you for beating up her parents because now she can go to a concert. <laughs> but because she's the princess, she kind of has to fight you now. So this is just protocol, you know, no hard feelings. One step closer to Hawaii, y'all. Maybe, maybe too far of a step because we're on the moon now. But you know, it's okay. Oh, uh, Are you swimming on dirt? I'm, I'm swimming in low gravity. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, it's okay. Don't worry about it. I'm not sure what, the, what those enemies are. They've been showed up the whole time. I guess it's better if I don't question it. My health is really precious here, so I need to be careful. I also need to not clip into the ground. That would be fantastic. Okay. Wait, wait, yeah, I'm supposed to take that, I forgot. 
My bad. This truly is the pinnacle of speed. That's what I'm saying, man. This part here is dangerous, y'all get ready. Whoa. <laughs> Carefully calculated. I know, caution. right? Took me many hours to get used to that part. So, this dude, this boss is really interesting because he always spawns at the same spot. And uh, I, I should have mentioned this a little earlier, but uh, whenever a boss is damaged, they can't hurt you. So as long as your hitbox is out first, you win. It's pretty good. <laughs> He will try to do that sometimes. That's his only way to actually hurt you. Oh, he tricked me, dude. Can you believe this guy? Don't die. Pulled the fake out. Dude, I'm gonna die. You're getting outskilled pretty hard I right am, now. dude. Look at him. He's not even coming out. He, he knows he's won. <laughs> <laughs> Please. Just end it. Oh, my goodness. So is it random when he pops up? Or yeah, it is. Like, he just gets to pick what he's going to do. Okay, it's over. We did it, y'all. Thank goodness. Right, we made it off the moon. That's worth cheering for, I think. And now we're in Antarctica, I think. Or maybe it's still Portugal. I can't tell at this point. Are you ready to swim underneath I really entire am. Level? So there is a legitimate level up there. Probably the hardest in the game, but... We just want to go for a swim, you know, we're, we're preparing for Hawaii, you may as well get our feet wet first. Swimming under this is actually way faster, just because of all the enemies you gotta deal with. Like, you can't really tank them and stopping to kill them takes too long. And you get to see this great swimming animation too, the true majestic otter right now. <laughs> Reminder that books are evil. Watch out for that guy. <laughs> no. <laughs> They had to put him out of his misery. He had no clothes here. Probably would have preferred that. If only he had like a spare auto suit on you. <laughs> Could have had a friend for this. I know. This Check out this speed tech, by the way. You just hold right. Look at these points. Dang, you're going Whoa. slightly faster. And then you slow down at the end to exit the level. It's so good. It almost looked like an actual speed run for a while. I know, bit. right? <laughs> Pretty close to one. There he is. Now, I'm going to save that guy from the arrow by taking him out with my fist. I hope he doesn't mind. <laughs> This thing's a little tricky. It varies from like TV to TV, so we'll see. This is another bit where there's a level up above, but you can swim under this one too. It's not nearly as long, so it's not quite that bad. There's also a little unique twist to this one, like uh, you swim underneath land too, not just water. That poor I couldn't guy. save that guy though. <laughs> no. He's gonzo. So the, the the jump ropers have like an infinite box up and down. I can't do anything about it. <laughs> I gotta let him. I gotta let him trip. Okay, we're good. Just dig those tunes for now. Right, this part's gonna be a little tricky. You gotta get that guy real quick. So this is a big spike pit. Okay, that's kind of tricky. Like, if you don't jump like right onto the very middle, you just get kicked off and you die in the spikes, and that kind of sucks, to be honest. We got the dancer and the singer. I'm gonna do the seizure Waldo? attack again to hit both of them at the same time. Well, I'm gonna try to do that. Why is there a crab in the top right? That crab is the best part of this game, dude. <laughs> like, honestly. takes a while. Okay, that should be it, I think. Yeah, we're good. A narrow victory with 2 HP remaining. Ooh. Everything does 2 damage in this game. I don't know why it's like <laughs> incremented like that. Alright, so the big secret that everybody's been telling you, and that they don't want you to know, you had to beat it out of them. Well, for one thing, you can speed up the elevator, but you couldn't do that before. It's just literally just this one. And uh, the second thing is that the person who didn't want you to go is the manager. I'm assuming your boss. 
So he's just gonna spout certain something at you, and you gotta, you gotta, you gotta let him make you go on vacation. Like, you want to send me? It's not that I want to go. It's about to be time, by the way. As soon as he walks off screen, and we did it. That's time, everybody. <laughs> we did it. There's a few different endings, though, and in my opinion, they're all the best ending. And like, they're all based on your point, so it's kind of hard to tell. But we got the Hawaiian ending anyway. It's Not all bad. good. He's chilling. I guess like the left side. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Oh, I want to be in this. <laughs> this is more difficult than the game, honestly. It is. <laughs> we did our best. Okay. Your time was 14 minutes and 20 seconds, by the way. All right, way. cool. Good stuff, everybody. Cool if I read a couple donations? Go yeah. for it. So I've got $5 from DSR Bombi. Yesterday I woke up to skate uh, to Shrek skateboarding, and today to this weird thing. Please help me. Got a twenty-five dollar donation from Inzome. This is my first time donating to AGDQ. Final Fantasy IV is one of my favorite games of all time, and I'm thrilled that it's this year's grand finale. I can't wait. Apologies to my beloved wife for talking about it so much. Here's $25 toward the Excalibur route, hoping to open up more donation incentives and help the fight against cancer. Got $40 from April Moon Rose. Hey, from Australia. This is my first GDQ, and I've enjoyed getting up crazy early to watch some amazing speedruns. 